Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to day two on PHP for beginners, brought to you by dtuklage.com. So, in this particular series, we would be learning PHP, and uh, today we would be going ahead and we would be downloading PHP. So, from where to get the PHP, guys? The PHP can be downloaded from php.net, that is their official website and you can go to this page downloads.php so if I will go to Google or you can search it manually here php.net slash downloads.php here you can get the latest PHP version that is for today is 5.3.6 but let me clear one thing in order to work with PHP we have some more requirements that would be a server and a database uh, let's let's talk about database uh, like an excel sheet we have excel sheets and whatever we write into an excel sheet it, it gets saved somewhere and whenever we come back we see the exact same information that we wrote okay the same is the case with uh, online databases and one of the powerful databases that have been used by a lot of uh, big websites or I would say 90% of community use MySQL. So instead of you know downloading PHP uh, separately then go ahead and download MySQL and then look for a server it's better we would go to this particular website that is called www.wampserver.com and from here we can download everything together in a package so if I will click on it and it will take me to wampserver.com no need to you know fill this form you can come here to the bottom here it says download wampserver 2.1 32-bit so you can check uh, which bit system you have and then you can download it. Guys, what is a WAMP server and on which platform it will run? WAMP server means W for Windows, A for Apache, that would be a server, M for MySQL and P for PHP or Perl or if you're thinking of using Python. Uh, guys, WAMP will only run on Windows. If you are on Linux or on Mac, then probably you guys should go ahead and download LAMP for Linux and MAMP for uh, Mac. And there is a server that is known as ZAMP that will run on all of these three platforms. But if you are on Windows, I would recommend you to check with WAMP server. It's really good. From here, you can go ahead and you can download WAMP server. Once you will click on it, it will take you to this particular source fudge force engine, and your downloading will start in some seconds. And uh, guys, I'm not going to download this particular file because I already have WAMP installed on my system, and uh, you cannot install more than one WAMP on your system. So if I will uninstall my old one. I will lose all of my projects that I don't want to. So from here you can get the current stable version of PHP but I recommend don't go ahead and do not download it uh, one by one like MySQL, PHP or Apache. It's better go to this site and download everything in entire package. Might be for now it will not make sense to you guys what is this but don't worry once we would be getting into PHP you will understand what is a server what is MySQL and what is Apache so for now your only task is to go ahead and install it properly and if you guys have any problems please let me know uh, okay so what I think you all have downloaded WAMP server successfully now the time is to go ahead and check out whether we are running our server properly or not so what I'm going to do is I will go ahead I have my WAMP server inside my e drive there would be a folder called WAMP I will click on it and here would be an exe file that I have to run every time I'm restarting my computer 
in order to run that server so I'm going to say yes go ahead and run it and here you can see I have my WAMP server online right now so I will go ahead here I will enter HTTP PHP I'm sorry I have to enter localhost and after localhost I'm going to say PHP my admin so if I will hit enter I will get this guys don't worry if you are not getting all of these names out here because these are something that I created of my own you might will find uh, information schema and there might be one or two there, there would be a MySQL uh, written out here so if you have only two or three names here that's absolutely fine and if you are seeing this particular screen that means you have downloaded and installed it successfully and if you are not able to see this screen guys go ahead and try to look for some troubleshooting tips or just leave a comment below so that I can help you guys and if you got it one more thing I want to show you guys just remove PHP my admin from the last and hit enter you will find this particular page and this is act the actual home page for the WAMP server here it shows all of my projects that I did till now on this WAMP server so there are around 12 to 15 projects you might not see even a single one that absolutely fine there is a PHP info and a PHP my admin so if you will click on PHP my admin you will come back to this particular page and if you will click on PHP info it will give you the information about your PHP so the mine is the latest one with PHP 5.3.5 uh, and you might be 5.3.6 I believe if you are downloaded just today and it told me everything about the PHP variables what all modules I have enabled and the entire information out here you can read about it if you have any questions you can ask me but later once we would be developing I would be clearing everything to you what all these mean so that's all about downloading and testing our WAMP server and the, in the next like the next time we would be dealing with the PHP how to create a file how to run it on a web server till that time goodbye